Hey guys, welcome to the Django REST framework tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to talk about Django REST framework generic views. And we are going through the, all the types of the views so far, like uh, API views. Uh, recently, we checked the mix-in views. Right now, we are looking into the generic views. Let's see now. And uh, so, generic views basically like uh, it's a very important quickly write the common views of the data without having to repeat yourself. Okay, if you want very simple views, then we can go for the generic views. It's very, very, very simple and uh, dead easy. And we don't need to write too many steps. Okay, generic views follows the very quickly. We can finish off the writing that. Okay, and one more important question comes always in our mind. What is the difference between the mixins and generics? Okay, the first thing which I gonna tell you, the mixin class provides the actions rather than providing the handler methods. Means when you are going to write uh, mixins, we'll have something like uh, put method, post method. Those methods we need to be overridden when you are going to use these mixins. And one more important thing is that we don't write any override methods when you use only generics but we do in the mixins that is the second point and the third one is mixins comes with the combination of generic API view. so whenever we are writing the mixins we are going to use the generic API view as another class implementation so that implements the multiple linear tents basically we need two classes minimum two to write a mixins generally in the programming right when it comes to the generics we don't need actually if we can it can allow the multiple linear tents it also follows the single linear tents Okay, so let's do coding now. We'll get more idea about it. Okay, before going to write the programming, let's look into the um, documentation. If you can see here, the generic views, uh, which are very shortcut for the common uses patterns. That's what is Django is saying that. And uh, so we already seen that in previous example, generic API view. And also we use something called query set and serializer class. And query set is for the model queries to get the data or update the data or something like CRUD operations. Serializer class like uh, which serializer class we are actually serializing the data. And, but we are not using the, some other things like lookup field. Lookup field is like uh, which fields you want to do the serialization process. The time we can use this lookup field. So as of now, and this is basically like uh, performing the individual model instances and default is the PK. To search the results and everything so this we can discuss later so let's move on to the next one is uh, actually concrete view classes so this is where like we are going to focus today the generix is actually there in the rest framework uh, uh, module and generix is the sub module and the create api these are all the classes you can see here create list retrieve destroy okay it just implement these classes to inherit the generix behavior and also like with the combinations like list and create retrieve and update retrieve and destroy and retrieve update destroy these are the combinations we have uh, to implement the generics in our django rest framework so let's go and uh, write a programming we'll get more idea about okay now i already opened the vs code so in the vs code uh, we already done previous views and everything you can see here there is a api view and after that we are done with mixins and everything now i'm going to do the generix today so here you can see that from rest underscore framework import generix so what we can do right it's very simple so i'm going to implement the uh, like uh, generic views in my code so we'll use now class and write here like something like list products and uh, we can say like generics so to understand the differences okay so if you see that before going to uh, implementation of the generics we need to import uh, rest framework import generics so we already done this step for the previous mix and previously we implemented the mix and that's where we already imported but anyway i am going to use it here as well so generics dot list you can see here list create api views the list api is there list api is nothing but displaying the, all the products but list create api is like you can create the product as well now i'm not going to for the creation here i'm just putting the only list api view and after that it's very simple okay you can write query set okay so this is in the smaller letter i entered wrongly Okay, this is the second one the query set is equal to then you mention the product so product dot objects this is nothing but select star from 
the tables all we can just mention here this and after that serializer class serializer class is equal to then we can mention the product serializer as simple as we are done as simple so now i'm going to the urls here i need to call that one i'm just going to copy this entire path and i'm just going to keep it here and uh, we need to maintain the indentation and uh, here instead of this product mix in i can say product generics or product generic or product uh, okay generic list we can give and we don't want here anything like uh, primary key or like any key which we can pass so instead of this mix ins i'm going to give your so list uh, products generics as simple as this is a list product generics so lpg i'm just given here so i will go to the now microsoft uh, i mean browser and uh, here you can see that okay i am just going to enter this okay so we already got this url so product generics list which i am going to put enter you see that all the products which we are able to through that get through it basically right so this is done so i want to show the specific product in this case so what we can do right we can go back here and create another view okay so what i will do right i will copy paste this so we don't need to write and again and again so instead of this list product um, here i will say that this is the detail product so detail products generics instead of list api view so we can say that so retrieve so retrieve is the like specifically if you want right so we can use this and same code there is no change changes anything but when you are going to use the retrieve api we need to pass the specific um, it's a detail view right so we need to pass a specific uh, um, key so i'm just going to pass your int okay and colon here by default i'm just going to pass this pk same thing like what we have done for the mix and same thing only but this is not a list it is a detailed so i can say that detail and uh, this is also i'm going to change this one. detail product generix and this is uh, okay, detail product generix so dpg i'm done now so i'll go to the now browser and uh, here uh, we are going to write the url just you enter this you will get the urls and any product any primary key for example 6 or 5 4 now you can see the products here so this is just viewing the purpose only but if you want to like add another views like for example delete or update so we can add one more row thing here like so you just give the comma and enter so generix dot update api view and if you want generix dot then no uh, so here i'm going to add the destroy so this is the way like we can define it now what i'm going to do right i'm going to save this and go to the browser and uh, refresh when you refresh you can see the delete and as well as the put this is nothing but update for example i want to update this one is the test for five and click on the port and see that data which is got updated so test for five which is got updated if you want to delete you can delete also this is how we can do it basically right so at the same time if you go to the uh, another way around i want to do like uh, combinations list to create api view and all so what i will do right i will go with the special class here it's like which is the combinations we can do it so i can say that uh, like a special okay special product generix instead of ret retrieve api view i will use the list create api view we don't want to write these many steps if you want to do the both the things like generix dot if you enter here and you can see there is something called retrieve update destroy api so it's like multiple combinations we have it here right so this is how we can write retrieve update destroy api we don't need to go for the retrieve ones update ones destroy ones so we can write at i mean we don't need to write one by one so we can write in once one way only so it can be finished now we are done this step so i'm going to add url so for this anyway we need pk also like primary key so i'm going to do right this is a special i'm just going to write you can keep it here and this is a special product generix this is a spg special product generix okay so what we'll do right i'm going to take this special 
I'm just going to copy this one. Like what we can do, right? I'll go and enter and you see that special. So which I'm going to add and again, you enter the six. So now also you can see the same thing like delete, but here all the list of products are there, not just one product because we are given here list create API view. If you go to the views, list create API view. That's why we are able to see the all the products in this case, right? Okay, so even if you want to delete something, we, we can delete it. But if you want to delete here, whole products will be deleted. We need to be careful. It's not de detailed. It is like something like uh, all the list. So don't click on the delete button. It will delete everything. So we need to be caref careful here. But we can add the products also here. So you can try this and let me know if you have any questions. In the next session, I'm going to talk about the view sets and rotors. That's going to be very important and very specific to the Django REST frameworks. So hope you are liking this content and uh, I'll catch up into the next video. Thank you so much.